absolutely not. And I'm warmed up, Sal, so oh, you better buckle I up. I did no, notice. You better buckle up. Um, paying Aaron Rodgers $50 million a year would be arguably the dumbest decision that an NFL organization could make, and here is why. When you pay somebody that kind of money, you're paying for two things. Performance. Yes. But the second one is more important. Obedience. Are you? Yes. Think about the highest huh. paid quarterbacks right now, Dak Prescott. Mm. Cowboys didn't just play for Dak, pay for Dak Prescott's performance. Mm. They paid for Dak Prescott's obedience. Go to the podium, Dak Prescott, and you say what we tell you to say. The one time Dak Prescott was disobedient at the podium, saying the one thing that he probably shouldn't have said. What happened? Everybody know. jumped down the throat of Dak Prescott. Remember after the San Francisco 49ers game when he said that, oh, if the oh, fans were the throwing stuff at the refs, yeah. oh, good for the fans. Mm. The one time, one time Dak Prescott was disobedient at the podium, mm. he not only disgraced himself, but he disgraced the Cowboys franchise for a moment. Interesting. Patrick Mahomes. $450 million, Patrick Mahomes. You're not just paying Patrick Mahomes for his performance. Yes, listen, listen. You are paying Patrick Mahomes for his obedience. What has Patrick Mahomes done off the field that has disgraced the Kansas City Chiefs organization? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Now, his brother might have TikTok danced on the late, great Sean Taylor's uh, logo. Oh. His wife might have done a thing oh. or two that has oh. brought some disgrace to the Mahomes name oh. and the Chiefs. Oh. But Patrick Mahomes himself oh. has done nothing to disgrace the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. When you pay a player excess of 40 plus million dollars you're paying for their performance but more so mm. you are paying for their obedience mm. now let's start hot big dog we you already know are some um teammates that uh are in some entanglements some former teammates that were in some entanglements Me? not full-blown relationships by no means were they full-blown relationships oh friends but they were in some entanglement with benefits no yeah, doubt yeah, about yeah, it. yeah 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 when the person that so. is entangled with your teammate shows up to said function mm. there are some requirements the requirement is not just to show up but you better look good you better say the right thing. What a you better do what you are supposed to do what? because of the benefits of being at this function. Why are they there? Like you don't know what I'm why, talking I about. I don't. don't first of all, me like you don't know what I'm talking all about. All I'm saying is, why are they there? You that thirsty? Yeah. <laughs> so, I know some teammates that have separate been. church from state. Look, they, <laughs> okay. they're already separated. Okay, I'm listening. Because mm. what I know is mm. sometimes mm. when you are compensating an individual mm. that greatly, mm. I'm not just compensating you for your performance. Yeah. I'm compensating you for your obedience. Oof. And Aaron Rodgers has never once proven Oof. to be a obedient, if you will, quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers ain't just sitting down and letting them construct the roster. Mm. No, he wants to stay in the roster. Aaron Rodgers isn't just going to the podium and saying the right thing. No, 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 no. Mm. I've been immunized. Not I'm not vaccinated. <laughs> not I am vaccinated. Aaron Rodgers is a free thinker. Mm. He said himself he's a free thinker. I hope we all so are. if you are compensating somebody $50 million... I agree with you. I hope we're all free thinkers, okay. but you know as well as I do. Yeah. You are being compensated that amount of money to lose some of that free thought. Let me give it to you in true story form. Damn, you warmed up. up. Forget you warmed up. You hot up. How do you even go? Go. After the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Were you there? I was at the Super Bowl. Did yes, you sir. get a ring? No, 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 I wish. Oh. Um, after the Eagles won the Super Bowl, as we all know, the team that wins the Super Bowl is supposed to go to the White House. Yeah. Problem. Yeah. President Trump had just finished calling NFL players SOBs, sons of bees. Damn. So now there was a dilemma. Eagles are supposed to go to the White House, but you can't all go to the White House because there was a lot of tension between what the yeah. president had recently said about the NFL. Mama. So what happened was I go to the locker room that, that later on after the Super Bowl, and I was like, yo, what are y'all going to do? And I talked to one of the highest paid players on the team, and he said this. I got to go to the White House. I said, how come? He said, because they're paying me so much. He didn't go to the White House or now ended up, things ended up changing. And I don't think anybody, don't think anybody went to the White House, yeah. but he was supposed to go along with a few select individuals. I said, why are you going? He That's said, it. because have you seen my contract? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Eagles were not just paying him for his performance. He balled mm. in the Super Bowl. Okay. The Eagles were also paying him for his obedience. Uh. When you are compensated that much, you're compensated to perform. You're compensated to be obedient. And Aaron Rodgers is not an obedient football player, and he's not an obedient person. That's fine. You just can't collect $50 million if that's the case. Uh. Okay. I'm not going to let you derail me right now. I have notes, and, and I'm not warmed up, so I need to do a normal show with you, but you're on a whole nother level right now. That said, 
I like where you are. So I'm going to get there, get but there let me get my reps I'll up, wait, coach. Wait, you know wait, what I'm saying? Wait. I can't throw 500 on the bar off a rip, coach. But holler at me in about get 10 minutes. Get yeah, some 225s. Yeah, 225 yeah, 225 rip out. You know I did that thing 35 times. Did you? Oh, your 26. boy was... 26? Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's talk it. Um, He's worth $50 million a year. He is worth $50 million a year. I will now be the agent for Aaron Rodgers. Look at me. Not only am I a defense attorney, but I'm also an agent as well. Let's start off with this opening statement. Uh, Green Bay Packers mm -hmm. or any other team out there. Hey, $50 million could come from anywhere. Banks all across the country. You can't be the top dog and not get the top dollar. And if I'm looking at Aaron Rodgers being the top dog, back-to-back uh, -to -back MVPs, four MVPs in total, I need him to get the top dollar. Now, I know most people are going to push back on that. First thing you're going to hear is age, you ageist out there. Oh, God, God. he's too old to get top dollar. Let me tell you how my client has bunkered himself and protected himself from such sh sh shots at him. Let's put up the highest average salary list, shall we? Mm. And let's just start talking about these guys because I don't know what Acho has learned about his NFL experience and getting paid, but you brought in obedience. Yes, sir. I always talked about the three Ps. Mm -hmm. Pay comes from production and potential, mm -hmm. right? Pay comes from production and potential. Look at this list. Let's just take our time with this one, too, because this needs to be digested. Patrick Mahomes makes the most at $45 million. Was Patrick Mahomes better than Aaron Rodgers last year? No, sir. Anybody? How many MVPs does Patrick Mahomes have? One, sir. Mm, Aaron Rodgers got two since Patrick Mahomes been in the league. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got an argument to say already. I got him. Now, you're going to say team success? Well, he got one Super Bowl. I got one. You got to look for it, but it's back there. So, in terms of comps, let's argue that he has even Patrick Mahomes. Josh Allen, I love you, big dog. Oh, you a talent. I love you, Josh Allen. Where's the success in totality? Mm. We're the MVPs. Get out of here. Look what I'm setting right now. I'm setting a floor. I'm not setting a ceiling. I'm setting a floor at 45 million, 43 million, and now let's go where we can't even dig any deeper. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. You can't get him lower than Dak Prescott. So now we're talking about $40 million at the worst being the starting point of this conversation. And then we started to add to Aaron Rodgers – what he's done since Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, and Patrick Mahomes has been in the league. No other quarterback has won 13 games, three <clears throat> consecutive years. No other quarterback has multiple MVPs. And he has multiple appearances in the championship game. Add up this whole list, because I'm not going to bore you. There's 10 guys on the list. You know what I saw? I saw two guys with a ring, and one who got a ring that was on the bench might as well have been you in Carson Wentz. In the top 10, Acho, of salaries in the NFL, they're not paying for team success. Okay. They are not because seven of the guys don't even have a title. And then if you look at who has an MVP, you start to really slim this list out. Aaron Rodgers has a tremendous case to not only be the top paid in the NFL, but to actually have a gap between him and the next guy at $50 million a year. I love what you said, and I do not think you're wrong. Um, oh, well, let, me, let, me, let me say it like this. Let's go. So, um, by the grace of God, I stumbled into money, man. I stumbled into money, not in the NFL, but after my NFL career. Um, and, and stumbling into money, I haven't flown economy in a while. I've only flown first over the last You ain't been on years. Southwest? No, I don't fly. No, no, no. Respectfully. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that was a fake respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she cute. She cute. Respectfully. Yeah. Um, but I can say this much. What? While I currently pay for first class tickets, okay. they are not worth it since COVID. <laughs> since COVID? Yeah, since COVID. What about before? Right. Back in the day before COVID, you all of a so? sudden you get a real meal, the meal will be a hot, et cetera. Meal. But since COVID, yeah. first class tickets are not worth it. What, you get peanuts and a little bit of leg room? Mm -hmm. Your seat can recline an extra four inches? He boozy. <laughs> Since COVID, a first-class ticket is not worth it. Mm. Is Emmanuel Lacho still going to pay for it? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I? Probably not. Yeah. Because every time I get out the flight, I'm like, dang, that really wasn't worth it. And I spent an extra $500 to $1,000 than the other person or than my former self. So we also have to keep in mind there's a difference between is it worth it and will they pay for it? Mm. Will somebody pay Aaron Rodgers $50 million? Maybe. Okay. But is Aaron Rodgers worth $50 million? No. If you look up a Birkin bag, Ugh. Birkin bags might hit you for 50, 100, 
20 racks. A backpack is a backpack is a backpack. Mm. But a Birkin bag gonna hit you for 50 stacks? How? Mm. Mm. Somebody might pay for it, but is it worth it? No, it ain't worth it. Mm. So I'm assessing, is Aaron Rodgers worth Mm. $50 million? No, he is not worth it. Will somebody pay for it? Maybe, but is he worth it? He ain't worth it, big dog. I think he's worth it, man. Um, we run different. We run different logical equations when it comes to flying. I could see right now. Me, the MVP model. Me, value and price. Me, value, price. First thing I look at is the value. As soon as I check a flight, I'm trying to see. What's the disparity between economy and first class? And if it, that gap ain't that wide, oh, your boy in the back, 33F. <laughs> Excuse me, Marcellus, I got to go to the bathroom. All right, all good. Hey, Marcellus, yeah, damn right, fool. <laughs> we landed at the same damn time. Now, if I see it's a wide gap and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. What is the price in that wide gap? Because I'm looking at the value first, then I'm going to find out what the price is. Because, you know, on any flight, you can afford it. And you're deep in your savings, some people. But where you want to sit is the conversation. I would challenge you, where do the Green Bay Packers want to sit mm. in terms of what their conversation looks like at quarterback? Mm-hmm. Is it Jordan Love economy? Mm. Or is it Aaron Rodgers first class? Let me you tell you why. Hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Love ain't getting that played up. Soul play. <laughs> they ain't even get off the ground. Here we go. I'm going to tell you why, for real. For 30 years, they have flown damn near private. Facts. Talk about it. Brett Favre. Yes, sir. And Aaron Rodgers have been their quarterback. Yes, sir. No, that's it. Everybody like, who else? No, that's it. <laughs> Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Yes, and all sir. of a sudden, now you go throw them in the back of the plane. In the era where we're seeing your worth based on absence, ask Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys when he went down. They saw how much he was really worth. Do you want to see the Green Bay Packers try to fly this thing without Aaron Rodgers? Do you want to see what Aaron Rodgers is really worth to you when he's gone? Mm. No. So the man deserves his $50 million. And it's not just about what you want. It's also about what you have. And you Mm got to fully appreciate it. They may want a cheaper quarterback. They want, you know how organizations work. They want Jordan Love to play well while he's cheap. Mm -hmm. And even though Aaron Rodgers may cost 10X, Mm -hmm. they're like, just give us half the production. It will make sense to us. It'll be a great value proposition. The thing is, they don't believe anything in Jordan Love, and they believe everything about Aaron Rodgers, but they just don't want to pay that price. So they know what they want, but they're going to have to give it up, pay that tax for what they have. It's Friday, man. Let's go. It's Friday, and I trust you all's intellectual capacity to continue to run with this analogy. So here goes nothing. (laughs) The objective of any flight is to arrive at your destination. That's it. That's it. It don't matter if you fly first. Fly economy, fly in a bathroom. The objective (laughs) is to arrive at the destination. Let's get there. So the objective of paying a quarterback top money is to arrive at the destination of winning a Super Bowl. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. The objective of any organization is to win a Super Bowl. That's the only objective. Here's your itinerary, sir. You want to see? <laughs> you want to see? The only objective. You only one team gets there. Oh, but okay. If I ask okay. every owner, okay. Okay. hey, what's good your point. objective this season? Okay. To win okay. a Super Bowl. Good point. So the objective Sound of all good. roster construction to win a Super Bowl. That's the destination. What I know is this. What? Over the last ten years of NFL quarterbacks, if your average NFL salary is in the top ten at the quarterback position, you not winning the Super Bowl. You ain't winning. From so. Stafford to Brady. To Mahomes, to Nick Foles, to Brady, to Manning, to Brady, to Wilson, to Flacco. If you command top dollar at the quarterback position, Mm. you weren't winning a Super Bowl. Why? Because there is not enough money to go around. So let me say it like this. Is that it? Aaron Rodgers better not let his greed get in the way of his need. Mm. Aaron Rodgers better not let his want get in the way of his need. Mm. Because what Aaron Rodgers might want is to be the highest paid quarterback in football. What Aaron Rodgers might want is to make $50 million a year. What Aaron Rodgers might want is to make significantly more money than Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Dak Prescott. But do not let your greed get in the way of your need. Because what Aaron (laughs) Rodgers needs Mm. is to win another Super Bowl. So he is no longer mentioned in the same conversation as Matthew Stafford, Russell Wilson, Joe Flacco, Nick Foles, as far as one Super Bowl championship. So Rodgers, I understand what you want. But just like I would tell anybody in this life, never let a want 
trump a need and never let greed trump a need. The need is a Super Bowl championship. The want might be $50 million or more money than any other quarterback in the National Football League. Oh, that was tremendous. That was tremendous. Do you know any owners intimately? Like dinner, off, off the... The only person. one would be the Hunt family because he went to my high school. Okay. Owner of the Chiefs. Okay, I'm going to protect the guilty. I, I know a couple, maybe a few, a few. Let's just say this. You know how we go to the podium after a game and we say one thing, and it's pretty close to being what we sincerely feel, but it's not deadly bullseye accurate. Let's be real, mm-hmm. okay? I've seen it too many times. I've done it too many times. After a loss sitting there, Marcellus, Marcellus. I'm like, all right, let me get a little dramatic effect. Okay, yeah, we really lost, even though we got a game a few more days. Okay, let me give this a dramatic effect. And as soon as I walk off that podium, I can hear one of my teammates already scream out, what it do later, boy? And I'm like, man, I know I'm still in that, that eye side of that camera. So I'm like, mm. I hit that corner. What it do? Like, it, mm. everybody don't see that part. Let's see the part where the owners don't go to the podium. Because everyone's going to go to the podium. All 32 owners will say, you know what? We're in it to win a Super Bowl. And then they get off of that podium. And then they walk in. And then the mother owner's sitting there. What it do later, boy? And they like, mm. Then they turn that corner. What it do? You know what they all want to do? They all want to make money. True. And you know what's crazy? They hand out one Super Bowl trophy every year. Lombardi trophy. Mm-hmm. And everybody is aspiring to grab for it. You can see it in your own vision when you close your eyes. Ah, every, every team wants it. But in reality, you know what they all get? They all get paid. They are cash cows owning these teams. They're not going to tell us that but they know that that's the reality. Why do I bring that up? Because when you talk about obedience, when you talk about the top 10 paid, when you talk about owners who say they all want a Super Bowl championship, then why would you ever pay someone top 10 if you still want to win a Super Bowl championship? When Acho knows, when Marcellus knows, when everyone knows if you got a top 10 quarterback in salary, you're not winning. And they're smarter than us. They have a capologist. I'll tell you what. They why. have them. I ain't done. That was rhetorical. Let me tell you this. Look at this list. Yeah, I'm in beef mode. Now, I told you I was going to warm up. Here we go. <laughs> if you look at this list, two ways we're going to look at it. How many Super Bowl champions we have on this list? I told you before. I'm going to tell you again. Two outside of Aaron Rodgers. We're not counting him. Two in the top 11, and one was on the bench, Carson Wentz. So that tells you you shouldn't pay him obedience you brought to me. This is my point that I want to loop around to. Patrick Mahomes, I don't like using the word obedience, but I'm going to play with you. All right, obedient. Josh Allen, obedient. Dak Prescott, mm, had a little slip up, but it's all good. It's all good. Did we say the next name? Deshaun Watson. Hello, FBI looking at him. Russell Wilson, I don't know. He leaking lately. He wants the glamour right now. He don't want to wait till he retires. <sighs> we know Aaron Rodgers. Carson Wentz, eh, you, you kind of tapped out on your team, didn't really want to fight, didn't want to go against your backup. Point being, your model and the projected model you're talking about for owners makes no sense. The only way that this can be solved is listening to me. Pay the top dog the top dollar. Somebody come get Marcellus Wiley a spot. He warmed up now. He put too much weight on the plate. Spotter! Spotter! Um, my there, dog. Right by oh your my neck. Oh, <laughs> Ain't nothing worse. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse. Oh, I hate um, uh, let me say it like this. Okay, please. Why do people play the lotto? True story. Uh-oh. Every time the Mega Millions gets up for excess of $500 million, I buy roughly 300 lotto tickets. I go back and I look at the patterns of the last 8 to 10 lotto wins. And based upon the numbers of the patterns of the last 8 to 10 lotto wins, I hand select my numbers based upon what I have previously seen, what reoccurs, including the Powerball. Mm. I play the lotto because I'm saying to myself, there is a chance Mm -hmm. that the odds will somehow work in my favor, even though, statistically speaking, of course it's not going to happen. But there's a chance. Yeah. The reason that owners pay these quarterbacks so much money, even though their capologists know realistically if you pay (laughs) a quarterback that much money, is because, in part, these owners are like me when I play the lotto. There is a chance... That if I pay Aaron Rodgers $50 million, we might win a Super Bowl. He's Aaron Rodgers. There is a chance that if I pay Carson Wentz another $35 million, we'll win another Super Bowl. If Nick Foles can do it, we'll do it with Wentz. Mm. 
there is a chance. I know what the capologist might say, but there's a chance. Same reason Nacho plays a lottery, because mm. there's a chance. The other aspect of it, you know far too well, mm. they can force your hand. Realistically speaking, I can force your hand. The market dictates your value. If Dak Prescott makes $40 million yeah. and I'm better than Dak Prescott, you yeah. pay me that money. So, Sal, so, I don't think the owners necessarily do it just because they want to be able to say, we got the highest paid quarterback in the league. I think the owners are like me when I play the lotto and really the rest of the country that plays the lotto because there's a reason the jackpot gets so high. Ooh. We all want to believe that we will be the first. Yeah, yeah. When in actuality, we are just going to be another statistic. Yeah, great point. Your point is actually deadly accurate. You're playing the lotto. First of all, you don't play when it's at 50 million. I hate when people be like, yeah, when it's at 500. Oh, so at 300, you, you out? <laughs> there's a number. Oh, there's a number. It's not 50 million? Oh, okay, Aaron Rodgers. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> what? First of all, it's harder to win when it's at 500 million. Because guess what? Everybody playing there. Anyway. It doesn't change your odds, by the way. It doesn't? No, you just split the... the, you split the, uh, the oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it Even worse. Odds. You're going to get less for doing the same. <laughs> that part. <laughs> I love you. Um, here we go. You sound like the owners. Uh-oh. Check that box. It's a lazy box. It's a low-hanging fruit box. But it does symbolize to everyone. It does project to everyone. I tried. And I tried to do it. Like, think about it. You put 300 in, you know you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Like, be real. You lose. There's a chance, though. But guess what? I'm going to probably lose. But, hey, I tried. These owners are doing the same thing. They paying these dudes, one, because they're box office. Are you going to go to see a team without a quarterback? Without a quarterback, like a dude. No, because then you're like, that's the most important position. If you don't have that box check, owner, you're not trying, right? So I think that the same way you play the lotto, it's the same way that they do this. You got to pay that guy, even though the odds are you won't win the Super Bowl. And the odds are Acho's still going to be doing SFY because he didn't win the lotto. <laughs> 